Hello guys, uh, welcome to Elite Math Studio. Today we'll be going, going through secondary four probability. Probability. Okay, so let's start the lesson. So we will first come to probability. What's actually the definition? What's the definition of probability? Probability is actually the chances that a certain event will happen. A certain, the chances in which a certain event will happen. So right, definition the chances that an event will happen. Okay, so when the probability is one, what does it mean? Probability is one, it means it will certainly happen the event will separate certainly happen if let's say it's actually probably zero it means it will never happen it will never happen never happen okay so probability the maximum prob the maximum value of probability is one the minimum value of the minimum value of probability should be zero so when probability is one it means what that when probability is one it means that it will certainly happen when probability is zero it means it will never happen it will never happen okay so let's try some of the basic probability i think in secondary two we did some basic probability so we start off this topic we're doing simple probability then we will go into two sections one is actually what i call the possibility diagram the other one is actually what i call as tree and branch method Okay, tree diagram. So let's try first. In this box, there are three red balls and two black balls. So what's the probability of getting a red ball on the first pick? Okay, so probability of getting a red ball, probability getting a red ball on first pick will be equals to just three over five. That's the answer. Okay, let's try the next one. What's the probability of getting a black ball on the first pick? So the probability of a black ball on first pick will be just how many black balls are there? It will be two over the total number of falls, which is just two over five. Okay, can the next one? I create a question for you to try. Pause the video and go and try it. It's very very straightforward. It's more for like secondary to probability. It's just an introduction to this. Okay, the first real concept we're gonna learn under secondary four probability is what we call as the possibility diagram. It's what we call as possibility diagram. Okay, I'm gonna do two ones for you. So let's read first. There are two boxes. We have A and B, each containing multiple color balls. Box A contains green, red, yellow, white, and black balls. One ball of each color. However, for box B, it contains pink, blue. Red, yellow, black balls, one of each color. If I were to pick a ball from each box, draw the possibility diagram to illustrate the different outcomes. So first step, I shall draw it like that. Okay, so we have this is actually box A. And then this will be our box B. Okay, so let's uh box A we have different color, we have G. G will stands for green, R will stands for red, Y will stands for yellow, W will stands for white, B will stand for black. How about box B? Box B, P will stands for pink, B will stands for blue, R will stand for red, Y will stand for yellow, and B L will stands for black. Okay, black. Let me see, black. BLK will be better because there's a blue here, so I don't want you to confuse. So it's actually black, and then it's actually BLK. Next step, what you can do, you can put actually crosses like that cross, 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 cross. This, 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 this. Okay, we're gonna cross all the different combinations out. And then we're gonna make use of this diagram to help us solve this. Okay, let's try first. The question one find the probability, the first one. 
Question wants us to find the probability that both balls are of the same color. So both balls are of the same color means green. We need to be green. There's no other green in B, so it won't be possible. The first one, the first property is actually this one right here, this combination here. When we have a red and red. Okay? Then this combination as well, where we have a yellow and yellow. Last but not least, we have this one, which have a black and black. So what's the probability for the first one? So the first answer, the first answer is simply 3 out of the total number of crops possible outcomes which is 3 over 25. That's actually the answer. Okay? Part B, let's read. The question wants what? The question wants find the probability that find the probability that both balls are of a different color. If both balls are of the same color is 3 over 25, what are the probability of both balls of different color? You can just take one hole minus 3 over 25. So answer is just 22 over 25. That's actually the second answer. Part C. Let's read. Find the probability. You need to find me the probability that one of the balls are yellow in color. One of the balls are yellow in color. So, one of the balls are yellow color. So it means right, it can be... It can be yellow color. It can be like this. Yellow purple. Yellow pink yellow blue yellow red yellow yellow or yellow black or it can be yellow green green yellow red yellow white yellow and black yellow so how many have I circled out 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so answer will be 9 over 25 that's answer okay so that's how you actually draw a possibility diagram I'm going to try the next one for you let's read the question again the question, two fair dice, each of six faces, numbered one to six on each of the face on both dice. If these two dice are being thrown together, draw a possibility diagram to illustrate the different outcomes. So same thing, we draw a horizontal axis, and then we draw a vertical axis. On this one, I'll write as first die. This one will be our second die. So first die, the different outcomes are one, two, three four five six the other one one two three four five and six as well next step we're going to draw crosses one two three four five six yep we're going to be patient about this okay some of the diagrams you can use dot to represent the outcome some of them can use crosses. It actually depends on you. Okay, last two rows. The last one here. Okay, so let's try. The first one. The question will ask me to find the probability that both two of the numbers appear on two of the same numbers appear for both dice. So where are two numbers that appear something? It can be one one. It can be 2, 2, it can be 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, 6, 6. So the first answer, how many circles have I circled? So the probability for part A is just what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 over the total outcomes, 36. Reduce it lowest term, just 1 over 6. Okay, the next one, find the probability that two numbers, two different numbers appear on the same dice. So we can even use the first answer, will just be one whole minus probability that both numbers are the same that will give you the property of both if are different numbers part c next one the question find the property that some of the numbers are eight the sum of numbers are eight so let's try one two and which number two and six will make eight next one three and five will make eight four and four will make eight five and three will make eight and six and two will make eight so how many different outcomes will be that be? It will be 5 over the total 36. Okay, next one, part D. Part D. Find the probability that the sum of numbers on both dice must be at least 9. At least 9. At least 9. At least 9 means 9 and above. 9, 10, 11, 12. 9, at least 9. The first combination should be this. Next one can be this one as well. It can be this as well. It can be this, it can be this. 
Okay, it can be this as well. It also can be this. At least nine. So it can be this as well. This as well and this. So how many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it becomes ten over thirty-six. Reduce five over eighteen. Okay. Last but not least, last but not least, find the probability that both numbers are to be prime numbers. Prime numbers now. Okay, so prime numbers are gonna use a blue. Prime numbers was the smallest prime number. The smallest prime number should be what? Should be two. Two. So there will be both numbers must be prime. So it will be here. Two 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 three and two five. It can be three two as well. Three 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 five. 5, 2, 5, 3, 5, 5. So how many blue circles would that? There is a circle. Out. How many blue circles would be actually, if I'm not wrong, would be 9 over 36, which is equal to 1 quarter. Okay, so I've actually done two illustrations on what? On possibility diagram. Okay, the next one is actually, I gave you an example. Just go and try it yourself and yeah, pause the video, try it yourself. Any queries, you can go back to our previous two questions to help us. The next one is actually, there are only basically two concepts for probability. The first one is actually what we call as the possibility diagram. The next one is actually the tree diagram. Tree diagrams are actually two kinds. One is actually what we call as the replacement. The other one is actually without replacement. Okay, so let's read first. Box A contains three red and five green. Two balls are being being drawn at random, one ball after another without any replacement. Draw a tree diagram to illustrate the different outcomes. So, box A. So, I would actually put it here as the first pick. The second one, I'll just put as second pick. Okay, the first pick, it can be of either red or green. Red or green. So, the red is actually what? 3 out of 8. Green, 5 out of 8. Then after which, you branch it out like that. So it can be either red or green on the second pick again. It can be red or green on the second pick. What's the probability of you getting a red on the second pick? There are only three red balls. If the first ball you pick, if the first ball you pick is already red, what's the probability of getting another red on the second try? It will be 2. There's only left with 2 red. Over total number of balls should be 7. Next one, because the first pick was actually red, so on the second pick, how many green were there? It will be just 5 over 7. Next one, if the first pick is actually a green one, what's the probability of you getting a red on the second pick? It will be 3, sorry, it will be 3 over 7. Okay, if the first pick was green, what is, was actually the second probability of you getting another green on the second pick? It will be 4 out of 7. Okay, so let's treat the question. The question asks me to find the probability that both balls are the same color. Both balls are the same color. So it can be either red, red, or it can be green, green. So what's the probability of getting red, red? What's the probability of you getting red, red? 3 out of 8 times 2 out of 7. Plus, both green will be 5 out of 8 times 4 out of 7 okay using a calculator this actually equals to you can cancel cancel 1 and 4 so it'll be 3 over 28 plus cancel 2 and 1 it becomes 5 over 14 okay you just use a calculator to compute uh, will be just 13 over 24 that's the answer okay the next one Find me the probability that one of the balls are red in color. One of the balls are red in color. So one of the balls red in color. So either it can be red, red. One of the balls are red in color. It can be red, green. Or it can even be green, red. Okay. So for B, there's two methods actually. The first method is actually you can take 3 over 8. Red, red. Plus red green plus green red 
to get an answer. Or what you can do is actually find me the you can take one hole minus probability that both are green, which is five over a times four over seven. Okay, I think it's actually the second method will be much 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 easier. So if I'm not wrong, the answer will be um, thirty six over fifty six. Reduce lower term is actually equals to nine over nine over fourteen. That's the answer. Okay, Ken. So this is actually called tree diagram without replacement. Okay, Ken. Let's go through the next one. Let's do another example. Let's read first. Box A contains six red and seven yellow. Two balls are being drawn at random. One ball after another without any replacement. Draw a tree diagram. So write first. First pick. And the second pick as well. Okay, maybe I draw it closer such that I have more space for working it on. Okay, so we have red and then we have yellow. So red will be what? Red will be 6 out of 13. Yellow will be 7 out of 13. Same thing, branch it out again, branch it out again. Red, yellow, red, yellow. What's the probability of you getting a rate on the second one will be 5 out of 12. Next one, getting a yellow will be 7 out of 12. Next one, if the first one is yellow, what's the probability of getting a rate? 6 out of 12. Yellow, 6 out of 12. Okay, once the three diagram is out, I think everything will be simple, simple now. Find the probability that both balls are the of a different color. Different color, so it can be red, yellow. Or yellow red. Okay, red yellow or yellow red. So you just write a equals to six over thirteen times seven over twelve. Pardon me. Six over thirteen times seven over twelve plus seven over thirteen times six over twelve. Okay, can just use the calculator will be 42 over this times is actually what 156 plus 42 over 156 equals to 84 over 156 and then you're going to reduce it to the lowest time. B What's the probability that both balls both balls are red? Both balls are red, so you should be here. And here. So it's just simply 6 out of 13 times 5 out of 12. The answer cancel 1, cancel 2, 5 out of 26. Part C. Find probability that one boss is actually yellow. One of the boss is yellow. So we here, here, and here. So I think the fastest way will be just take 1 minus the probability that both are red. 6, 6 out of 13 times 5 out of 12. So it goes to 1 minus cancel 1, 2, 2 out of 26. Sorry, pardon me, it should be 5 out of 26. Which is equal to 21 over 26. Okay. Okay, can let's move on. So next one is actually the same thing. So what you need to do is actually get the tree diagram out. Then you go ahead and find the different scenarios that actually match the questions. Okay, let's move on. The next one is what I call as trees diagram reef replacement. Reef replacement. So it's actually the same thing, but now it's actually we are doing with replacement. I think this is actually much easier without without replacement. Let's try first. Let's read the question. The question says box A contain five red and seven green. Two balls are being drawn at random. One ball after the other with replacement. So replacement is actually easier because the probability during the first pick and the second pick will be exactly the same. There will not be any changes because the star is going to be replaced. So it will be much easier. So write red and green. Probably a red is a 5 over 12, green will be 7 over 12. Because it's actually being replaced, 
the probability of getting red and green on the first pick and the second pick will be exactly the same. So this will be 5 over 12 still, 7 over 12, 5 over 12, and 7 over 12. Pretty simple. Next, you just, yep, let's try the question. The question asks you find the probability that both are the same color. So it will be red, red, or green, green. So the answer will just be 5 over 12 times 5 over 12 plus 7 over 12 times 7 over 12. Pardon me. So the answer will just be 25 over 144 plus 49 over 144 equals to 70, I think 74 over 144 equals to 37 over 72. Part B, pardon me. Part B, five probably one of balls are red. So one of balls are red, I think the best way to do it would be just take one hole minus probability that both are green. That's the fastest. Okay? So it goes to 1 minus 40. Pardon me, 49 over 144 will be equals to 95 over 144. Okay? I think three diagram replacement is actually the easier one. Without replacement is actually the harder one. Okay, next example. This one. Let's try. The question states that a box A contains 10 red balls and 6 yellow balls. Two balls are being drawn at random, one after the other with replacement. This simple as well. This is actually the same thing. So I think it's pretty simple. I just do a fast one. First pick. You'll be the first pick and the second pick. Okay, so the first pick will be just red and yellow. Branch it out now. Branch, branch, yellow, red, yellow. Branch, branch, red, and yellow. Okay, Ken, so maybe the first pick will be just here. Pardon me. Just wrap away this one. I'll just put the second pick here. I think it will be better. The second pick will be here. So it's actually like that. Clara, second. First pick, second pick. Okay, so red will be just 10 over 16, 6 over 16. Because it's replacement, the probability will remain the same. So that's why I say with replacement, it's actually pretty easy. It's just pretty easy. Without replacement, it's actually the slightly harder one. Slightly harder one. So let's try the first one. Find the probability that both balls are of a different color. Different color. So what I can do is actually just yep, look at the diagram. Different color. Different color will be red, yellow. And yellow, red. Okay. So it will just be red, yellow. Will be 10. 10 over 16. Times 6 over 16 plus 6 over 16 times 10 over 16 so equals to 60 over 256 plus 60 over 256 equals 120 over 256 then you go and reduce okay B find probability that both are yellow so both are yellow both balls are yellow, so we'll be here and this one. So it's just simply 6 over 16 times 6 over 16. Cancel, cancel, 3, 8. Cancel, cancel, 3, 8. So I'm going to be 9 over 64. Parts, pardon me. Your part C. This one. Probably the one of balls are red, so the fastest would be just take one hole. Minus both are yellow. Okay, that's the fastest. 55 over 64. Okay, can So pretty simple, the tree diagram. As long as the tree diagram is right, I think everything is simple. 
The harder one is actually to be not replacement, we quiz you, something to think about. Some of the questions, instead of giving two colored balls, we have three colored balls. That will add difficulty to the question as well. Okay, can? So I've come up with some of the other examples. The next example is a three color ball. I want to give it a try. Then, yep, more examples as well. Okay, so basically that's it. So under probability, the most modern co two concepts are actually a possibility diagram and also your tree diagram. Okay, can? Yep. So once you're done, just try questions, go ahead with the assignments. Okay, so if you can do our assignments, I think you are pretty, really okay. Okay, that's the end for this probability lessons. Thank you.